Hi, here's a question. How can you transfer artifacts between two separate Nexus 3 repositories? A new project that's called the Nexus 3 Export Import Project on Bitbucket can help. So you may be familiar with Nexus Repository Manager. Uh, I'm running 3.22 here. And this tool that I'm going to talk about will allow us to um, do just that. So if we look at the README page, there's some overview, there's a link to this video, and there's some setup. We need to have Groovy installed. And assuming we have Groovy installed, uh, and we'll verify that quickly, we'll say which Groovy. So it's installed, it's on our path. And now I'm going to clone this repository here and I'm going to go into it and uh, we'll look quickly at the files. The file that I'm interested in here is this one here. It's called Nexus 3 Export Import. And if I, if I just do this command with the hyphen hyphen help option, I can have a look at some of the command line options that are available. There's quite a few of them in there and they're well documented. Okay, so we have that uh, and you can use those command line options uh, options, but I prefer to use something called a YAML file. And the name of the YAML file is shown over here. It's, it should be located in your home directory and it should be called .nexus3 export import YAML. And here's an example of what the contents of it are. And for this video, the ones that we care about is the source and the target. As you can probably guess, the source is where we're going to be pulling artifacts from. The target is where we're going to send them. So we have a repo located at this place, at this URL, and it's called the repository we're interested in. It's called third party. It's got to access that repository. We, we need some credentials. Uh, these will be different for you. And if you don't have credentials because you have anonymous access, you can just leave this out altogether. This says that we want to target and move those artifacts into a repository called fake repo on the same server, but it could be a separate server. So let's go over there and look. So we're in Nexus here. And if we browse, we can see that we wanted to pull all the artifacts from this third party um, repository. And there's, there's not a lot in here, but it's enough to communicate what the uh, the what what kind of things we're going to be pulling from this. So it looks like there's only a jar in this BFO PDF stamp directory or folder. Um, and if you recall, we said we would go from that third party to another one called fake repo. Well, we don't even have the fake repo set up yet. It's not here. So we're going to just create one. Uh, we have a convention here where we create a blob for each um, repository we have. It allows us to separate the some of the information. So we have this thing called fake blob. And now I'm going to create a repository called fake repo. And this is going to be a Maven 2 hosted repository. And it is we're going to call it fake hyphen repo. It's going to be a release strict and we're going to use this blob down here. Once that's all set up, bam, we do this. And we can see we have this new repository here. If we look quickly at it, we see that the new repository doesn't have anything in it. So what we're going to do here in our terminal window is we're just going to run this here. And when, we're, when this is run, it's creating artifacts, pulling them down, and loading them into this other place. So if we look at this again, we can see, yes, they're here. And if we open this up, we can see that we have this 2.81. It's got the jar and it's got the SHA and some other artifacts here. So that's really good. That's the gist of what I wanted to communicate today. Have a look at this project. Again, it is called Nexus 3 Export Import and it's on Bitbucket. Okay, hope you have a great...
afternoon. Ooh.